Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So I just caught the uh, Aaron Rodgers press conference, the post-practice presser on the way back home. And by the way, the starters didn't practice today. Uh, it was just the twos and threes according to Robert Sala. And it was overall a lighter day uh, with joint practice with the New York Giants uh, scheduled for tomorrow. So massive day for the Jets again tomorrow here. But one thing that really stood out to me in, in, uh, in Rodgers' presser was the fact that in, in his words... This is the hardest Jets training camp uh, or the hardest training camp that he's had in the last seven, eight years. And I honestly was not expecting him to say that. He went on to say that the team has over 300 snaps compared to this point last year. 300 extra snaps. And, you know, personally, I absolutely love it. I, I, I freaking love it, right? Because the New York Jets are in a position right now where... There's a lot of pressure on this organization, obviously, but when we take a look back at how 2023 went, there was a million and 10 issues, uh, injuries, play calling, quarterback play, offensive line play, confusion, penalties, tons of issues, uh, offensive system question marks, uh, tailoring the offense around the specific players, targeting specific players, game planning, right? And of course, you can't solve every single one of those issues in one offseason, one, you know, uh, training camp slash mini camp period slash voluntary OTA period. But what you can do is try your best to work at it and to continue to hone your craft, right? You're not personally, I'm, I'm not thinking that, you know, the, uh, the offense isn't just going to sort itself out. You know, for, for not, you know, if you're not practicing, if this guy's hurt and that guy's hurt and we're constantly switching up the offensive line combination and we're trying a bunch of new things and we're going in a bunch of different directions. You know, I love that Aaron Rodgers uh, alluded to the fact that it has been hard and this could very well, uh, in his words, in Salah's in Salo's words, callous the team for a big year. Uh, again, more reps, extra cracks at the bat. Uh, Again, the Jets, it wasn't smooth sailing offensively. I want to see a lot of the... Pro I feel like you know, I could speak for um, you know a good amount of Jets fans when I say, I don't want to see the issues from last year. right? I don't want to see a million players getting hurt. I don't want to see you know poor play calling. Every passing play within 15 yards of the line of scrimmage. Zero shots down the field until you know the Jets are virtually out of it in, in the final weeks of the season. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to see our young core players not get targeted in the game weird stuff like that tons of penalties all over the place you know eight nine ten eleven penalties per game we're just handing the opponent a free hundred yards you know think about what that does to uh odds in your chances of winning right if at the end of the day you say okay well we lost by a touchdown we lost by 10 points we got 20 yards of free penalties they got 105 you know, that, that does play a factor that does flip the field. That was a major issue last year. So again, w w no team out there is going to fix every single issue. Just go down the list. Oh, that was an F. We're going to turn it to an A plus. This was a D, A plus, F, the A plus, right? It just doesn't work like that. But what the Jets can do is continue to work at it. I love how this, again, according to Aaron here, it's harder. There's more reps. There's more pressure. And I really feel like that's going to bode well uh, for the team moving forward. And I know you can maybe counter with, okay, well, maybe the Jets will be more beat up or the Jets will be more tired uh, as the season progresses, which, you know, is, is a fair argument. It's a fair pushback for sure. Um, but again, I just don't feel like the Jets are in a position like the Chiefs where we have, you know, back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships and we're, we're pushing for that third. You know, it, we're just not in that that situation. We're, we're still trying to, you know, get crack, you know, get into the playoffs, win the division, uh, really make that playoff push. I mean, I don't want to bring up the um, whatever it is, the, the playoff drought, however many years. But, you know, we're we're, uh, we're we're a team with that pressure. Tons of mistakes last season. Let's let's fix it. And again, Rogers in the presser said that it was the coach's decision. It was Salah's decision to have training camp be this way. And it was predetermined. So I freaking love that. I love that move from Salah here. And I, because I think it shows a lot of, um, uh, a lot of intensity, a want for things to change. 
uh, a proactive approach, which is something that I've been super, super critical of Sala in the past. It's just like, where's the proactive kind of mindset? It, it's always reactive. So it really does feel as though this team, uh, from an organizational standpoint, from a coaching staff standpoint, they're, they're moving, they're growing uh, as a staff. And I love it. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.